Hi everybody and welcome to another video of the channel. Right, as you can see in front of me is another package from Amazon. Right, so the only thing that concerns me a little bit is the way that this package arrived to my doorstep. As you can see here, well it seems like the mailman has been having fun and playing football with the package one more time. So considering the fact that I collect the figures that I have here in a mint and sealed blister, um, I'm a bit, yeah, concerned about that. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's open this boy up and see what's inside. So this is going to be a double whammy, so there are going to be two figures here, but today's video is going to focus only on the Masters of the Universe 1. Here we go, keeping my fingers crossed right now to see if everything is alright. Okay, uh, and it is not all right. Unfortunately, it is not all right in the least. Yeah, okay, so this is so disappointing because the blister is completely cracked. Yeah, yeah, this is so disappointing. Okay, right, so... Um, Let's see what I can do to salvage the situation. Okay, so what we've got here is Sun Man from Rulers of the Sun. Okay, let's see what I can tell you about this figure. Sun Man can harness the power of the sun. He wasn't a part of the Motu roster of figures. Instead, when he first hit the toy shelves back in 85, he was the lead figure on a series of produced by Olmec toys. By the way, Olmecs were the earliest known major Mesoamerican civilization. So what's so special about these figures? Couldn't they just be construed as a Motu knockoff? Not quite. Creator of the toy line, Ila Eason, explained that back in the 80s when Masters of the Universe premiered on TV, her three-year-old son was one of the millions of children who followed He-Man's adventures, but he had a hard time reenacting his adventures off-screen because he wasn't white. I'm going to quote an excerpt of an interview she gave to Yahoo Entertainment. If you have decided as a child that your color is a limitation to anything, especially imaginary play, that's frightening. Not finding any black action figures for her son to play with, Ila Eason took it one step further and created her very own line of action figures, Rulers of the Sun, based on heroes with different races and ethnicities. Other figures in this particular toy line included a Latino tech expert, Digitino, a telekinetic ninja, Space Sumo, among others. Ila made us all realize that toys were yet another vehicle to remind all of us that multiculturalism exists and I for one am so happy that nearly 40 years later Mattel has struck a deal with her to add these vibrant figures to the Masters of the Universe toy line. I can't wait to get my hands on the lead antagonist for Sunman and that is Pighead. He's guaranteed to make you squeal. Right, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed this brief review, and I hope to see you soon on the next video. Bye-bye, take care, stay safe, stay strong. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another video. Right, as you can see in front of me is a package from Amazon. Okay, so... Yeah, not a good idea.